first, it was Helene hitting the Big Bend area. Then two weeks later, Milton struck. More than two dozen people were killed in Florida during Milton, which spawned widespread storm surge, flooding, and tornadoes, catching many people off guard. This is like the worst type of flooding I've ever seen in my life. Everything's straight, so I've been telling my family members, yeah, everything's good, um, every, I'm fine, I'm okay. And then the next day, it just flooded everyone. I'm like, hey guys, actually, backtrack everything I just said yesterday that doesn't exist. This is actually pretty bad right now. Helene and Milton caused so much damage that it's still being added up. But government and private experts say each storm likely caused more than $50 billion in damage, joining the infamous ranks of Katrina, Sandy, and Harvey as super devastating disasters. Some people lost everything. It's numbing. It's been numb for the last th two weeks. This is everything I have in the world. So to lose all that, I lose my retirement, I lose my business, I lose my income. I lose my house, so. Your entire life savings is wrapped up in those homes. Yes, yes. According to the White House, the federal government has approved nearly $2 billion in assistance across six states to help people who were hit hard by the two storms. Last Sunday, President Biden flew to Tampa to survey the damage. It was his second trip to Florida in two weeks. His motorcade took him through the devastation caused by Milton before speaking from a hard-hit neighborhood in St. Pete Beach. And it's in moments like this we come together to take care of each other, not as Democrats or Republicans, but as Americans, Americans who need help, and Americans who help you if you were in the same situation. We are one United States. There were countless stories of heroic rescues. Nonprofits, businesses, churches, and neighbors all stepped up to help those most in need. We helped our neighbor. Their house is gutted now because the water went through their house. They were staying with us through this storm, so it's got to be worse for them. It's a real moment of neighbors coming together. Oh, absolutely. It was everybody helping each other. I think almost everyone left this time. You know, after, after Helene, it was, you're not messing with Mother Nature anymore. Everyone's out helping each other. I'm just doing my part, you know. That's what I do, I cook food. Some communities were and are still isolated by the heavy flooding, the blocked roadways, and in some areas by the slow return of electricity. Fuel for vehicles was also a problem as many people were running out. Governor DeSantis answered the need by giving away free gasoline. We also have a lot of gas stations that even if they have fuel, may not be able to get the power back on. Uh, so we've uh, taken on a fuel mission. We've opened uh, three fuel depot so people can come fill up. Such a wonderful feeling. It gives you cold chills that people are helping each other. That's the greatest thing you could ever have. For many people, the back-to-back -back hurricanes altered their lives forever by damaging or destroying their homes and businesses. The federal government has opened 10 disaster recovery field offices in Florida, including some in Hillsborough, Pinellas, Citrus, Manatee, Sarasota, and Pinellas counties where you can talk to a FEMA representative in person to obtain financial help. Here's how FEMA describes what recovery help is available and how to apply. It's Lanisha here with an update. If you have been affected by Hurricane Helene and you live in one of the designated areas, we want you to submit an application for FEMA assistance as soon as possible. Even if you think that that damage is minimal or even if you have insurance, we still want you to submit an application as you may be eligible for some additional assistance. For example, if you have a serious need for food, gas, medication, FEMA has programs to help you out with that. Also, if you're displaced from your home currently and you're living with a friend or a family, you're staying in a hotel, FEMA can offer you some assistance to help you in that situation. Also, if you have personal property that was damaged from the storm, so if you have a personal computer that was damaged, we offer money to help you replace um, that damaged computer. And lastly, if you have um, damage to your home, we offer home assistance um, to help you with repairs to your home from the storm. So the way that you can apply for FEMA assistance, you can call the FEMA helpline number, which is 1-800-621-3362, or you can go online and at disasterassistance.gov and apply there.